So in this video, we're going to go through how to download a program. Now, down in the description, I have how to configure your serial driver or your Ethernet or Ethernet devices driver in RS Link. So this video assumes you have that part done. Really straightforward video on how to do that in the description, though. And I've opened up the program that I want to download into this controller. Most important thing that you have to get straight early on, upload from the PLC. Download to the PLC. Very important. I don't, I don't care how you remember it. I know there's, there's, there's tons of, you know, sayings I hear for that of how to remember it, and none of them really work for me, so I'm not going to go through any of them here. It's super important that you understand those two terms early on. So I have opened up our Getting Started program for the RPLC trainer, which comes from the factory with your trainer. And this is, you know, if you didn't buy your trainer, you still have access to this program. You can download it in the description. It may be helpful to you. It's a really basic starter program that we use for our basic wiring exercise of teaching how to wire from push buttons to the PLC and from the PLC to our lights. It's just a little test program to make sure everything works. But to do it, we're going to go to comms and then syscoms. Now, there's several other ways you can do it, but I like this way because you can do everything from here. So one, I can see all my drivers that I have, and I have the DF1 driver. We don't have the serial cable plugged in right now, but one, we have the Ethernet devices driver that we created um, in the prior video, and we have the Ethernet IP driver. Now, which one should you use? Well, chances are you don't need both of these on there at the same time, but they're on here because I added them in the last video. But we're gonna select the PLC. And again, right here, you have the option. You can upload or you can download it. And we are downloading this time. So if I click the upload button, like you think uh, you would be uploading the web, you think you're going to upload there, we're not. We're just going to pull the program out of the PLC and overwrite whatever we've done here. So again, this we're downloading from the laptop to the PLC. And it's going to say right here, downloading program. Even here, it's not really clear, though. But download. And you see that our current project settings don't match, and it's mainly because our Ethernet settings are different in this one, and we are going to go through it. And next is the PLC is in run mode. So PLCs have actually three modes. You have run mode, which means the PLC is running, executing code, reading inputs, updating outputs. You have remote mode, which we'll jump to in a second, because it's in the middle. And you have program mode, which means that we can Right, program still. The remote mode, which is that middle setting, means that your RS Logix 500 can switch modes. And so we have it in remote mode, so we're going to switch from remote run mode to remote program mode. See, so it quickly downloaded because we are on the Ethernet, and it asks you, do you want to switch back to run mode? So we are going to switch back to run mode. Guys, nice. want to go online? Don't have to, but we're going to go online. There you go. And that's it. Your program's downloaded, running, and we're online looking at it. Hi, this is Tim. And this is Amber of TW Controls. We run the automation store. Be sure to subscribe for more great videos. And like this video and comment on what you would like to see next. Visit our website where we offer a full line of PLCs, simulators, control panels, PLC trainers, and more.